What is up everyone? How you guys doing? Hope you guys all having a great day. What is up? So I know I've been gone. It's been a minute since I uploaded, I know, but I've been gone because I have a job and the job is only for two weeks, but you know, I've been working crazy hours because I'm assistant manager at this job. So I've been, you know, insanely busy, so it, it's crazy. But I'm here, I'm about to answer some of you guys' questions. I posted on my Instagram, the same Instagram that you guys should be following by now. If you're not following me on Instagram, it is right here. Go follow my Instagram, go add me on Snapchat. They're all linked down below, so go to the description box, click the link there, and go and follow my Instagram, add me on Snapchat. So I posted on Instagram that I wanted to do a QA and a because some of you guys... I mean, actually, a lot of you guys are new, so I wanted to get, you know, you, I wanted you guys to get to know me more and stuff, so I wanted to do a Q&A, and so I asked you guys on there, on my story, to, you know, ask me some questions, and some of you guys did, so I'm gonna answer them, so we just gonna get right into it, but before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, so you never miss a post, but let's get right into it. The first question is... From Marcel Estabillo, this guy asked, "If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why?" Um, that's a pretty good question. Now, living-wise, um, I would stay in America, like in California, but I would move to the Bay Area. You know what I mean? Um, because you guys know I go to the Bay Area a lot. And that place is home to me. So I would move out there. You know, like a lot of YouTubers who get big and you know they have a following and stuff. They go out to LA. Me, nah, I'm going to the Bay Area because that's where it's at, you know, Bay Area is like the home, it's home to me, a lot of my friends there, you know, like, you know, a lot of my friends there, and like, it's, I, it's home to me, so that's where I would move, that's where I would live, so, I hope that answers your question, I mean, I would like to travel the world, like, I really want to go to Dubai and like, all that kind of stuff, but, you know, so, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Patrick Mendoza asked, what is at the top of the list of your current playlist? Um, so, <laughs> on my playlist, uh, right now, I've been into g Easy, like, his new album. That's, like, my favorite album right now. And I also listen to Nav, the Migos. You gotta listen to the Migos, you know what I'm saying? Migos go. Um, but at the top of my playlist, the whole album is really what I've been listening to, really. So, you know, g Easy, the beautiful and damn. Yeah, that album is definitely at the top right now on my playlist so i mean let me know like you guys let me know in the comments what's on your playlist because i want to know i mean i want to know what you guys listen to philip gibson asks do you like star wars or star trek hmm that's an interesting question um i would have to go with star wars yeah i would have to go with star wars i don't know just something about star wars like I'm not really into Star Wars or Star Trek as much, but I've seen a little bit of Star Wars and I, I liked it. So I'm not going to say much just because I don't watch Star Trek or Star Wars, but um, Star Wars, I would have to go with it. I would have to go with Star Wars just because I watched it like a little bit and it was pretty cool. So Star Wars it is. Stesson, Stesson, I think Stesson TV asks, where are you from? So... Where am I from? My So my family is from the Middle East, um, but me, I was born here in America, um, in the United States. Um, so I'm from the United States, and then I currently live in Stockton, California, but I will be moving soon. So, yeah. So this next question is from Michelle Deanne, and she asked me this question through my DMs. Um, I asked on, on my Instagram that, you know, you guys can DM me or you guys can ask in the comment section. So she DM me this question. Thank you. Um, and she asked, what made you want to start vlogging? And that's a pretty good question. So, um, a couple years ago, I would say about two, two years ago, two or three years ago, um, I started watching Mystic. I started watching Logan Paul and, you know, I started watching Mo Vlogs and all these bigger YouTube vloggers, you know, and I was like, if they can do that, I can do that too. You know, so I was like, I want to start my own channel, you know, like, I want to start doing this. This is cool. This is fun. It seems like they're having fun with it. I think I can have fun with it, you know, so I started doing it and here I am, um, like, mostly Mystic inspired me to vlog just, you know, like, he was so inspirational, motivational, and like, you know, like, he was helping people start channels, like, do it, just do it. And so I watched him and I just started, you know, vlogging, so... That's, you know, here I am now at close to 500 subscribers, and I'm thankful for each and every single one of you guys. So, yeah, here I am. Alright guys, this next question. <laughs> These questions are getting interesting. 
to love everything on Instagram asks, when was your first kiss? We're going to get into a little bit of story time here. So I would say, I think it was freshman year in high school. Um, I would, I used to ride the bus home um, until like senior year. Like I used to get picked up by my dad or, you know, my you know, my parents or somebody, you know, would pick me up. But, you know, freshman year and sophomore year, I used to ride the bus. Anyway, so every time I'd get on the bus, there was this girl that I used to get on. And, like, I met her. I met her at the bus stop the first day, but we didn't talk much. So, you know, ever since then, like, you know, I, like she would always ride the bus with me. We would get off at the same stop because she lived close by in my neighborhood. And so, um... We were we started talking one day and then I was like, hey, you know, let me get your number like let's you know Let's let's link up like I think you know, you're kind of cute or whatever. You know what I mean? So we started talking and you know, we started talking and then like I exchanged your Instagram We exchanged social medias and then you know, that's just how we went down like we hung out one day went to go get food and then we were at the bus stop and happened at the bus stop you know what i'm saying so that's how it all went down because i think she liked yeah she liked me at the time and mean like you know i was like you know whatever like this is cool hey she likes me so um yeah she gave me a kiss and hey that's how it went down so it happened at the bus stop this next question is from skater boy 96 and he asks what is your vision like and did you find out you had low vision um, so about my vision, my vision is, my vision's pretty good. Um, I recently got my license. I've been fighting to get my license for the longest time. Um, basically my vision, if you guys do not know, I have albinism. I'm albino, that's, that's what albinism, you know, albino is short for albinism. And al albinism is a genetic dysfunction that's, you know, one out of 14,000 people and there's... Another type of albinism that's just in the eyes is one out of 20,000 people. So it's very rare. So I'm a rare kind. But, you know, I mean, I don't consider myself rare. But, I mean, because I, like, I never met another albino person till I got into, like, more involved with, like, the blind community. Like, when I went to, you know, the Lighthouse for the Blind in the Bay Area. And, like, I started meeting people there who had albino. I'm like, hey, this is cool, you know? So, that's how, you know, like, that's how that went down. But anyway, I have albinism, so my vision, I don't really know my IQ. I forgot. I re like, I recently got a, you know, an eye test, but I forgot. So, yeah, my vision's pretty good. And the second half of your question is, did you find out you had low vision? So, I, I didn't find out that I had, you know, like, low vision or I didn't know, like, I had albinism until I was about the age of five or six, you know. My doctor told me, my eye doctor told me um, that I had albinism. And I didn't know what to feel. Like, I was five or six years old. I mean, like, what is a five or six-year-old kid gonna do? Like, he knows he has, like, he doesn't know what that is, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't know. So, as I got older, like, around 10, 12-ish years old, I started realizing and you know, I had, like, I had a teacher who actually helped me research what albinism was. And so when I found out what it was, like, you know, it, like, broke me down. I was like, I won't be able to do certain things. I won't be able to drive. Like, when I was younger, I wanted to be a cop. I don't know why I wanted to be a cop. I wanted to go in the military. I, could, I couldn't do any of that because of my vision. So I was like, it, it broke me down, it, you know, but... As I got older and I started meeting more people who have albinism, it wasn't so bad. And this question is from CC Love Six, and I told you guys these questions are getting interesting, but this one is very interesting. She asked, "When was your first time?" <laughs> um. So my first time was sophomore year. Um, sophomore year and uh. I met this girl, and it's not the same girl that I met at the bus stop, right? that was different, that was like, you know, whatever. But, so there's this girl that I met, um, I was hanging out after school, um, because I had missed the bus. So I had to wait like an extra hour, because the bus here comes after every hour, so I had to wait an extra hour. So I just went back on school campus and was like hanging out there with some friends, because I had friends that went to like the after school program. So I was like, hey, you know, let's meet up, because I missed my bus, like, come out, something like, let's, let's go meet up or something. So... I was waiting for them, and like I saw this girl that was walking by, and she smiled at me, and then she stopped, and she was like, "Hey, like, do you like, do you look lost or whatever?" And I was like, "No, nah, I'm just, I just missed the bus." So whatever, she was like, "Oh yeah, I did too." I was like, "Oh, 
well, I guess we can catch the bus together or whatever. So, um, she was also waiting for her sister, too. So, I mean, I guess that worked out for her. But anyway, um, she picked up her sister and stuff. And then, so we started hanging out, like, at that, that same day. Like, we got to know each other and stuff and then in that hour. And then she was like, hey, like, you seem super cool. Like, would you like to hang out? And I was like, you know, like, yeah, we're already hanging out. But she was like, yeah, like, you can come to my house or whatever. I was like, okay, I guess that'll work. I mean, I guess we could go. Like, honestly, I forgot this girl's name, too, but... Um, like, we go to her house, and, like, she was like, my parents aren't here, like, don't worry, it's like, yeah, <laughs> just went down at her house, um, that was my first time, so, <laughs> yeah, um, that was it, alright guys, that is gonna conclude this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up down below, show me love, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, if you guys want me to do a Q&A part 3, ask questions down below, and I'm gonna answer them, um, this is part two. I did part one. If you guys haven't seen it, click the card up here or up here somewhere. It's going to pop up. Go click on it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time. Peace.